There hasn't been a truly great Alien movie in decades, but a 2022 streaming hit proves that Disney can deliver one. The Alien franchise has been on shaky ground since 1986's Alien set a high bar for the series' sequels. Every subsequent filmmaker to put their stamp on the franchise, including a returning Ridley Scott, has struggled to recapture the magic of the first two movies. This IP is the perfect vehicle for sci-fi horror, but post-Alien sequels have gotten too bogged down in the lore to really have fun with this monster-infested intergalactic world. Following the 21st Century Fox merger, the Alien franchise is now in the hands of Disney. The typically family-friendly media conglomerate might not seem like the best home for a franchise renowned for its terrifying body horror and blood-soaked jump scares, but a hit streaming movie from 2022 proves that the Mouse House is actually the perfect place to get the Alien franchise back on track. In 2022, Disney released a Predator prequel called Prey. Set in the Great Plains in 1719, Prey revolves around a young Comanche warrior named Naru as she comes face to face with a predator during a ritualistic challenge in which she can prove she can hunt something that can hunt her back. Prey wasn't released in theaters, but it performed well on Hulu's streaming charts and received widespread acclaim from critics. And now fans are clamoring for a sequel. What Prey did for the Predator franchise is exactly what the next Alien movie needs to do for the Alien franchise. Prey ignores all the confusing lore from the previous films, focuses on what makes the original so great, and delivers a simple yet engaging story. It doesn't attempt to set up a wider universe or a succession of sequels. Much like the classic 1987 original, Prey is just a strong, standalone story about a fierce human warrior taking on a ruthless, otherworldly hunter. Fede Alvarez's upcoming Alien Romulus must accomplish something similar. It doesn't need to concern itself with the origins of Xenomorph. It just needs to be a spooky haunted house movie in space, like the iconic original films.